In the great hall of the Justice League, there are assembled the world's four greatest heroes, created from the cosmic legends of the universe. Their mission, to fight injustice, to right that which is wrong, and to serve all mankind. We're back! <laughs> Welcome everybody to Spinner Act. I've got to ask this question. What the Goonie Goo Goo is DC doing? Come on, man. Are we going to break it out? Are we going to show Marvel who's better? Who has Marvel the or Marvel? Will you say Marvel <laughs> yeah. and not Marvel? Yes. Like if it was Mario Brothers. Are you? Are if you it was Mario Brothers, like, you know, the fighting, would it be Mario or Mario? You know, like that. So he says it, Mario in the game, but everyone calls him Mario. So is it Marvel no, or Marvel? they call him Mario. And it's not <laughs> Mario. And I don't like Mario, okay? It's Mario. Okay. okay. Mario. It's not in like the game. Lisa yeah, with, right that little, no. with that little gay twist to it. Mario. Yeah, right? It's not gay. Thank you. Twist. Okay. <laughs> oh, we digress. Welcome, everybody, to Spin Rack. DC, what are you doing? Today I have Kyle and PD to talk about it. DC has some of the greatest iconic characters this world has ever known. You've got Batman. You've got Aquaman. You've got Wonder Woman. You've got Flash. You know? You've got you Green Superman. Lantern. Superman. Don't think oh I didn't see what man. you did there. I was just about to Superman. say Superman. Oh you know, man. I was just doing it in order. But in some order, in in order that people like the, the characters. That's basically it. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, come thin on, ice. guys. He's just started, and you're on thin <laughs> ice. Come on, DC. Show us what you can do. I'm begging you. I'm your supporter here. Okay? <laughs> Remember that. All right. I'm putting my hard-earned money towards your films, <laughs> towards your belief. But the comic books, PM, what do you think? Give us a hint. I'm over here. Um, <laughs> um, I have an issue with the films because they're just bad. And I don't see I don't see them going back when, oh, let's go way back on Super, what was it? The Super Friends turned into Superpowers mm -hmm. and they had Firestorm. And I was like, okay, with Firestorm. Yeah. But then they threw in Cyborg. And yeah. I'm like, Cyborg is... Teen Titan. Teen Titan. So it doesn't work, but they try to throw in the black guy, and the only, only other black guy they had was Black, black Lightning. So, or yeah, Black Vulcan. But those <laughs> those short pants. Shot. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> short pants. <laughs> Actually, the, all those weird characters kind of worked. They were kind of fun for a little while. They were there. Apache Chief. And, um, El, Di El Dorado. Yeah, it was Samurai. Tell so me yeah. we digress. Kazino Ho Nihaku. Yep. In that chunk. Yep. In that chunk. And then he grows. And El Dorado uh -huh. didn't speak any English, so they just had him do the cape, and that was the end of it. There we go. So why did you go put Cyborg in it then? So now we got Cyborg here. We don't know. It's just like they're struggling to find a team. When I think the Justice League film should start out the same way the Super Friends did, right? It just starts. We already know Superman, Batman, Aquaman. Aquaman is in. They talk about him in Entourage. People know who Aquaman is. Yeah, they think he's corny, but they know who he is. Yeah. So you got Wonder Woman, you got four people they know, and then you just have to read, they know Flash, sort of. It's not the right Flash, but they know Flash, sort of. Just re redo yeah, Green Lantern, the, and got you're the there. red card piece. Yeah. There we go. And then we have, just start up there, they save the world for two seconds, then introduce Darkseid, you got a whole movie. I got, don't use my ideas. The biggest problem is that they're not even doing what Petey's saying. They don't have any plan. They decided to do this. Look, it begins with Man of Steel. Man of Steel was not a planned film. They were fighting for the rights to Superman. DC was fighting for the rights for Superman. Why, at this point, I don't even know. Because they've been horrible with them for so for like, so, like five, six years now. But they were fighting for the rights. And one of the rights that they were fighting for were the film rights. And a judge decreed that, yes, you guys haven't made any films with this dude. And if you're not going to make films with him, we're going to give the rights back to the air. So they were like, okay, now we've got to make a film with this cat. Okay, so it was court ordered. Mm -hmm. If you don't make a film with this guy, the rights are going back right what over here. What was the Brandon Roth film? No, that was in 2006. These guys were in a court in 2010. And they were like, do you have a Superman film coming out? And they were like, well, we don't have anything. And the judge said, no, no. In today's day and age, look how many, you make films with these other characters, you make films here. If you're not going to make films within a certain number of time, yeah. you're going to lose the rights. The right, same so thing, like, back to in anything. So. Like the same thing with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's clause with DC is that if Wonder Woman has ceased to being pub ceased being published, the rights are going to revert back. That means Wonder Woman could be selling ten copies a month. Okay, as long as it's still being published, they retain the right and they want to retain the rights. Mm -hmm. So Man of Steel wasn't something that people sat down and nurtured and really brought. They had to make that film. Okay, they were like, okay, we got to get a film out over here. 
And in hindsight, you look at it and say, this was not a film that was very well prepared. It was a film that had to come out. Batman versus Superman was not a film that was very well prepared. We want to get this out because we want to try to get to where the Avengers are. You know, then you look at a film like Suicide Squad, and again, it's the same thing. Not very well prepared. We want to get over here. Now, contrast that with what they're doing in their television shows. The television shows, one guy spearheaded. These guys have pl you know, planned the whole thing out. Mm -hmm. They've made very good connections with it. That's the only problem. When, the fi when you look at the films, good, between the casting and the stories and the planning, they're all over the place. The bottom line is we're trying to get all the way over here as quickly as possible, and you can't get all the way mm -hmm. over there. You have to take one step at a time. You can't leap there. And they're trying to leap. They keep falling on their face, but they're like, we got to keep leaping it. We got to keep leaping it. You need to take smaller steps, and then you would actually have a better product with it. You know, I, I saw when I saw Suicide Squad, I was like, well, this is like a two-star movie. Okay, it's enjoyable enough. You can put some popcorn in your face. You can have a nice Slurpee, and you're okay with it. Mm -hmm. But that's not what they need. They need a nice big hit, something to branch off from, something to rally around. And they're not getting it. And they're not going to get it with Wonder Woman either. Unfortunately, they're just not going. They're just not getting it because the planning isn't there. The biggest thing I saw with Wonder Woman that turned me off to it, I said, this is Themyscira. Themyscira looks like it's in a cave. It looks like it's in a damn cave. I don't think that's going to be the problem of the film, though. I that, think I'm just saying, like, the biggest thing that turned me off was Dennis Skyrim okay. is, like, always supposed to be this place of light, mm -hmm. of art, of culture, of music. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be this bright, open place. And when I'm looking at it over here, I was like, why are they meeting in a cave? I was like, everything with this, is, it's all dark. <laughs> yeah, there's no thought to it. This is supposed to be, an en it's not just supposed to be an enlightened, uh, mm -hmm. it's not just supposed to be enlightened women. Okay, but an enlightened world. Their item is supposed to be some place where they have been separated, mm -hmm. okay, from the you know the wickedness of both men and women in man's world, and they have been able to produce and grow and nurture themselves into Paradise Island. It's mm -hmm. Paradise Island not because there's no war or no famine or no pestilence simply because of those, but because they're enlightened human beings. Mm -hmm. When I look at this, I'm like, all I see are warrior women. And I was like, oh, okay, you're not thinking about this. You're not bringing the character and why this character is unique to the film. This is Xena squared, <laughs> okay? That's what you're doing right over here. It's the sword and the shield, the fighting. All she needs is, ah! and that would be no, the end of it. You're going too far. And that's the problem with it. I was with you for most of it. <laughs> went too far on that one. I would say the other problem is that Zack Snyder has been following a sort of Frank Miller mold. So he had to have Superman sort of dark, sort of on the edge of being not trustworthy. And then you get to the, the Batman versus Superman, where you're playing a ton of Miller stuff. And then Miller did try to do sort of a Justice League, but it was real wacky. Yeah. And it didn't really make sense. So it's it not a mold you can build <laughs> a horrible. universe on. You know, you have to look at something. I mean, me saying Super Friends is a simple, you know, very simplistic way to do it. But come on, man. <laughs> you watched Super Friends was on for like freaking like 12 yeah, years. And the biggest thing about Super Friends is that even if you had years. never watched one before, you well, could get yeah, into it because the characters like were the trustworthy. 80s. The characters were trustworthy. Mm -hmm. There was never any issue with, oh, do people trust Superman or not? Which was only, the only episode was where that was an issue was with, okay. Superman went evil. Everybody's like, oh, <laughs> oh my God. Good. Everybody liked that episode. Everybody's like, oh my God, okay, Superman you know goes what? evil. I don't know if you know. It was last time I looked, this was 2016. <laughs> this is not 1975. But we were kids So we need to move on, gentlemen, and get to what is so what happening you, So what do you have to say? Okay, you, just sat, you just sat there and took it. So let's I see what you got to say. you know what? I was trying to be respectful, <laughs> unlike some other people. You've got here. nothing, right? Respect oh, I've got a lot to say. <laughs> You've got nothing. All I've got to say is a simple thing. Batman v Superman made eight hundred and seventy-two million dollars. Yeah, you've okay? got Here nothing. Go. Number you've got three nothing. film in the world. Su and no, Suicide it's not number three Squad. anymore. Suicide Squad is going to break records for August. You know, okay? it's not number three anymore, right? Suicide Squad is going to break <laughs> records for August. Did I see? interrupt you? What see? I want? What are you talking? See? 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 Did I, was I not respected? Was I not respectful? Okay, even though you guys slandered me, attacked my my, my diction. I don't know. If you know I what I'm trying to say? Batman you? v Superman. You know, I made less money than Zootopia. That's different. It's a children's movie. We're not even going to touch it. 
Batman v Superman under any circumstances will be considered a hit. Okay, the Jungle it's Book. just that we have the problem is uh, Marvel put such a the Marvel fans put such a high ceiling, and you can the see it in the in the in the, in the Marvel reviews Marvel, Marvel fans. The Marvel, the Marvel fans. fans. Look at the or reviews. The <laughs> look at the reviews. Look at the reviews in 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 uh, in, in Rotten Tomatoes and IMBD. Mm -hmm. It's just ridiculous what they consider some of these movies. Oh uh, no, okay, movies okay. I was with you. I was actually with you. To, uh, to for a little bit for the smidgen of common sense that you were entering, but then you had to go fanboy and all this fan wank over here. Bad you're wank. not giving anything. You're not Bad giving wank. anything to the pet. These Bad guys wank. had phase one, phase two, phase three. Right, but you they had a, a plan and the they carefully crafted I it. I told you to me the plan. If the plan happened, it took a long time to develop. Hey, you 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 have valuable characters. Mm -hmm. You want to utilize them. Utilize them. Yep, you're, you're, not have, you're not going to have um, 15 years or 12 years. No. You didn't need 15 years. No, you know what that's, not, that's not what well, happened. See, no, that's no, not what, what happened. What, what I'm that's saying. That's not what happened. No, I was very. I got him here. Let me take this. Let me take this. I got him here. I got him here. In the in the time between the first Iron Man movie and Avengers, how many years passed? Can you tell me? And Avengers, what? Between the newest the first, one, no, the first the Iron Man, one? the first Iron Man movie, and the first Avengers From movie. How much time passed? Till, till. Um, Can you answer Captain, me? Captain, about twelve years. Captain. From Iron Man, which was in two thousand eight, to the Avengers movie, which was in two thousand twelve, it was four years. If you I now said, look at I the same Captain, amount of time, I said Captain America. If you he now, said the Avengers. Uh, no, he's trying, he's trying to pin me down no. for something. And I if don't want, you now, I don't want to follow those things. If you, you now, know what I'm to say? if you look. If you look at the amount of time that took place between Man of Steel and what they're pushing for mm -hmm. with Justice League, it's the same amount of time. Four years. Four years. Which means, yes, you could have done it. The same amount of time. All you have to do is take the time to do the planning. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to do that. that you're biased. And that you're, you're, you're biased. Well, and we know why you're biased. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you don't like numbers when they don't suit you. The number 872 million? <laughs> yes, August, $20 million on first day out? It's no. going to be monster. It's going to break Guardians of the Galaxy's record. We know this right now. What? You know, opening it's it's gonna, Opening. What? What? They, yeah, they're good at opening. They can't close. That's it's the been problem. one movie and you want to hold it back. Wonder, all I'm what saying, are you talking about one movie? They, they got three movies in the can now. And none of them have none of them been critically received well. None of them have been received well by audiences either. Mm -hmm. Okay, they don't have any likes. Didn't you say Man is still past uh, 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 made money? Did you not tell us that? Just be, uh, no, he was saying it no. did better than... Batman versus Superman. Yeah. In the long run, as far as how much money I it costs. Pound, pound for pound. I think pound for pound. Think. Look, Man of Steel made comparable money to Superman Returns, which everybody said was this horrible movie. Mm -hmm. Superman Returns, which was this horrible movie, according to some people, yeah. was in the well, top ten. It was a horrible it, movie, though. And it was in the top ten. So here's the problem. So money is not so the object there's, there's here. Money is not the object. No. So clearly there's an issue. There's a, there's a pent-up demand. By Superman fans, no, super fans. no, no, super no, fans. no, 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 you're deluded. No. That's what no. it is. What do you mean? How am I? Why am I once again? Okay, okay this, this, this is the problem. This is the problem. They did a movie. They did the Christopher Nolan Batman films. So when they got to the second one and they did so well, and they said this is a great movie, they were like, oh. We're closing a chapter on superhero movies. Yeah. So when we get to the third one, whether it's bad or good, it's going to do money, and we're closing it. And then Marvel is like, we're throwing another movie out because when what's the name? Batman and Robin came out. They're like, oh, we're closing a chapter on that. And then Blade came out. And then all the Marvel. So Marvel keep pushing them to make them do more movies because they've been like, no, just like Superman when we got the four. It was dead. Yeah. It's over. We want a break. Dead? Was that four? That's when you considered it dead? No, it was dead at three. It was dead and at three. And then the, 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 the Salkins. Hey, you have like to give a lot of credit well. to the Salkins because <laughs> those guys are like, look, we're going to mine everything. They would have made Crypto yeah. the movie <laughs> if they could. They could have. They, they and, Warner tried. Brothers, and Warner Brothers really didn't have the interest in it. Yeah. That's why. That's how Canon Films got the fourth one. But that they're doing criminal. it. Yeah. But they're doing it now, too. They don't really have the interest. They just mm. don't have any franchises. And they're like, okay, let's go with this right over here. Yeah. Whereas Marvel is like, no. We can develop these properties, and we can make films out here that are pleasing to people, and we can make money. The biggest guy is Ant-Man. Okay, that is the biggest. Not even Guardians of the Galaxy, mm -hmm. but Ant-Man. Ant-Man, are you kidding? Ant-Man quadrupled its budget. Ant-Man is a non-factor. At least with Guardians of the Galaxy, it had the coattails of Avengers somewhat, and it was a space-faring yeah, you know, episode. Ant-Man hadn't been done before. 
Okay, so Ant-Man so had not What do you think Doctor Strange? You think Doctor Strange in this trippy I want to see I want to see a little bit more of Doctor Strange. But again, this is why DC can't get it together. And DC can't get it together because they refuse to nurture these characters. Yeah. There is no they reason. They have the most iconic characters out there. Yeah, they have the characters. greatest. They I have the DC greatest superheroes. Are more, are more known no. than, than 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 Marvel. Yeah, they, they're more. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're you know more known, say? but they keep saying we have to build and make these guys. They keep changing. They keep changing. They don't they have to do that. They Everybody they knows them. Except that, 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 that's what the problem is. They and keep it, they keep retconning. They keep wanting to tell mm -hmm. this guy's origin. Yeah. They keep wanting to repeat yes. these things and hit these same beats. Yeah. And they're not hiring people. It's the same thing with the comics to a large extent. Mm -hmm. They are not hiring people who really want to do these things, know these characters, mm -hmm. and are approaching it. I, I mean, I would approach it like the same thing in the Donner method, where Donner not only knew Superman, but he says, look, mm -hmm. in order for this to work, we have to take this seriously so the audience will take this seriously. Don't worry about people saying it's silly or anything. I can't, I can't you have believe to take a multi-billion dollar corporation like Warner Brothers is not taking it seriously. I They're, don't think no. the amount of money they, they spent if they doing were taking it seriously. BBS, the amount of money they spent suicide, no, no. I cannot understand what you're saying. They're not when taking Superman it seriously. When Superman the movie, when Superman the movie take, came out, you know, do you know the history behind Superman the movie? Why the Sulkins were able to get the rights? Do you know how much they paid? They paid What they paid for it was criminal. They paid like a million dollars for it and Warner Brothers was chuckling. They were like, we got a million dollars, you'll never be able to do it, you can't make a Superman movie. Once they made the movie, Warner Brothers was like, how the hell did that happen? Mm -hmm. And they renegotiated the rights, and they wanted to get the rights away from them as quickly. Most, uh, they, they made it so the Sultans would never be able to re-up on it. And once the Warner Brothers got the rights, you know how many movies they made with Superman? Zero. Zero. Brandon Brandon Rose, they, threatened, Rose, they threatened a lot. They yeah. said, Superman lives. Oh, yeah. Batman? Superman lives. Oh, he no, was in development hell for 20 <laughs> yes. years. Yeah, that does no. not strike me as an entity or as a corporation that wants to manipulate this character and exploit the character for what they can get out of it monetarily. No, he sat on the back burner. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they did Batman. Batman was rolling. Yes. Okay. This, okay and they didn't it's know over. Batman was going to work. Yeah. And the people believe that Tim Burton fixed Batman to work on t when the character was already dark in the comics, just not, <laughs> obviously, not in the Adam West version. So, Marvel. What? Adam West. Now, look you, at you, Adam watch, West. you didn't watch the what, Adam I West version? Like Come, Come on. He's that, lying. That's a, that's a different show. He's lying. No. Now, look at Marvel. My brother. How many makeup, How many mistakes and how many hiccups did Marvel have before they got with... These guys threw up every character imaginable. They had oh. Swamp Thing. Yeah. Well, okay. No, they, they, they tried to do... No, that was the thing. They did the me. Fantastic I Four. They did, um, um, they did the Who's Hulk. It? Marvel was involved in all those things before they started having. No, 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 no. Marvel well. was Marvel. The, the, they had the rights out, mm -hmm. okay. But Marvel, you know, as you know, Marvel Studios. That's 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 when you see Iron Man. That's when these guys are like, okay, right, that's we're going to get the rights back from. We're going to mm -hmm. get the rights back from our characters. We're going to put more control yeah. under it, and we're going to put our product forward. And that's another reason why you see the success that they're having, because mm -hmm. again, the characters are truer to what the stories. As, the biggest thing for me as a reader is like you've only scratched the surface with the whole with all of these characters. Mm -hmm. We've never seen a Superman movie where Superman actually goes and leaves the planet, goes to another planet and does anything. And he's more than capable of doing that. Everything has been centered on Earth mm -hmm. in Metropolis for the most part. They have barely scratched the surface with a character like Superman because they keep retelling his origin. Because they keep hitting the same story beats over and over and over again. Same with Batman. We still haven't gotten the big Batman story where he was the world's greatest detective. World's greatest escape artist, world's mm -hmm. great, you know, able to be a master of the skies. All of these things he's well known for in the comics, or at least used to be. We still haven't gotten those particular stories. Mm -hmm. We haven't gotten a good one with Bane. Okay, Bane has been made it twice to the film and still hasn't represented like he was shown to be in mm -hmm. Caliber as a villain as he was shown to be in the comics. There's a bunch of stuff they haven't done with him yet. There's a whole they bunch had of a, a good Rasha Ghoul. Rasha Ghoul was they had a bad Talia. They had a they they, screwed Talia. They had a rush. They had a Rachel Ghoul. It's Rache. They had a Rachel Ghoul. Rache. Rache. You say potato. I say potato. It's Arabic. It has to be Rache. Hey, you say potato. I say potato. Okay. You say tomato. When they come and get you, when they come you and ask you for your papers, you say potato. Potato. I say potato. You say tomato. Potato. Say tomato. Potato. Oh, we're, no. we're burning tape. We're burning tape. Anyway, <laughs> that Rachel Ghoul worked for what Nolan wanted to do. Yeah. But again, this was a Rachel Ghoul who could never have a Lazarus Pit. That was never going to happen. But then you look at Arrow, 
where he can have a Lazarus pit, mm -hmm. you say, oh, it can work. You can yeah. do stuff with it, and it allows you more storytelling ideas, more stories, mm -hmm. okay, in the can. You don't have to be so limited. The only problem with Arrow is that nobody was able to be dead for any long period of time, <laughs> with the exception <laughs> of the one actress who wanted to leave the show because they they took Black Canary and just totally like. I think she dropped her out. You can't well, knock back man. The other actress just took, just stood up and took the role. How basically. many seasons has it been on? What, on Arrow? Yeah. Arrow's going on about four. Season five. five. Four, yeah, five so five. I mean, at some point, there's going to be some drag in a, a series. It's going to run out of steam. Yeah, it's called Felicity. <laughs> that's pretty much what that was. But the bottom line was... No, it wasn't Felicity. It was Black Canary. She yeah, that's the drag on the show. Him linking him up with Felicity mm -hmm. and then putting Black uh, Black Canary off to the side. But that wasn't, Black Canary. that wasn't the initial plan. The initial plan was for it to be him and Black Canary. But the audience really liked the whole... Audien the audience you know, should never write Shonda the story. Rhymes, the Shonda Rhimes style. The audience should never Every write the story. Shonda Rhimes, whatever the audience wants. We'll do that. Yeah, that's how we got Wolverine beating Lobo and Storm beating Wonder Woman. You know, in Marvel versus in Marvel versus DC yeah, Comics. Giving the fans what they want. That's Never right. Never give the fans what they think they want. Yeah, give the fans. The Stan Lee. That's the Stan Lee comment. The only the thing that fans <laughs> always want is a good story. Okay, you mm -hmm. give them a good story yeah. because a lot of times you give them what they want. You realize, hey, there's nowhere to go with this. Yeah. There's really nowhere to go with this. And season three on Arrow showed. You know what? There's nowhere to go with this. <laughs> there's really what? nowhere to Just go have with him kill. I don't, I'm okay with Arrow killing. Sorry. Well, I kind of agree with him. Yeah, I, I don't care. I think yeah, he, he doesn't strike me as this really moral person who has. To, yeah, yeah. He strikes me as look. He, I was on this island. I got my butt whipped. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kill. You they know, that's not a big up. deal. They said I think with Arrow, they were they were using the the whole suicide squad thing, and then DC came in and said, you know what? Nah, we like that idea. We're gonna do a movie off of it. And, and the suicide squad, the suicide squad they oh, did on Arrow was actually more that? effective than everything they did in this film.